Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out for another gear review, and today talking holsters as well as belts. This right here being the Light Tuck in the waistband Kydex holster and the Cobra Quick Release Belt by Vetter Holsters. We'll go ahead and start with the belt so I can put this thing back on. It is made of two pieces of really strong like scuba webbing, about an inch and a half, and with that you have two sides of the Cobra buckle. This one is actually sewn in, and then this one you can adjust. So on this side, male, female Velcro, that much adjustment in there, well, a little bit more, I guess, where you can basically shift this buckle somewhere in there, figure out how best it fits for you, and then comes over, snaps. Cool, but a couple nice things. One, the way this is made, it'll basically go through like inch and a half belt loops, which is sweet. So you don't have to basically take a buckle off to actually throw your belt through and then weave that thing back in. And I will say, according to basically stitching, labeling, everything like that, you would think it goes like this. But for my use in the way I've worn it, I've actually worn it like this. So I'll go ahead and throw this thing on, feed it through. Again, you want this going through. And since I'm wearing it this way, I'm gonna feed it around. Honestly, it goes quicker when you don't have a like a mic cable in the back it gets hung up on and like seven belt loops but bring it up here in front clip it in you're good to go as far as the holster pretty nice really lightweight on the one hand pretty thin kydex and I want to say it's probably vacuum formed basically out of one piece folded over so with that you have something that doesn't have wide wings with rivets or anything like that. Pretty low profile. Right here we have a spring steel clip go on your belt and with it we can basically adjust it for draw angle I guess it would be. About 30 degrees forward or back for me carrying an appendix so pretty much keeping it vertical. Then over here claw optional again appendix belt runs and this basically pushes up against your belt pushes the gun and holster back into you kind of helps it print less and then right here we have a adjustment screw for the amount of retention so depending on how tight you want it you can either crank that thing down or loosen it to find basically like the right amount of retention for you and then with that on the back we have a sweat shield and pretty much all of them are cut for optics so right here i have my pretty vanilla glock 17 gen 3 had it forever duty pistol a long time ago and with it i've suppressor height sights with or which is nice because the top channel on this will actually accommodate said sights and again the way it's cut can have your optic on there too which is pretty handy as i mentioned my belt I end up wearing it basically backwards as far as this larger buckle is coming in from the right as opposed from the left. So with that, basically all the adjustment, those four layers of webbing is over here. I'll also offset the buckle so it's over kind of off to my left some. If it's directly at 12 o'clock, one kind of interferes personally with respect to the way I ride this holster. And then in addition to that, it basically prints like this is going to stick out regardless and holster is going to stick out some too so rather than just stacking that on top of each other push that over and then again four layers over here i'll go ahead and throw this holster in and that clip actually is really secure over those four layers works out really well so i'll end up having my pistol pretty much right there again appendix and over here we just have the two layers of webbing so personal preference again depending on how you do things what you carry on your person right here is the 
Amtac Minutemen, usually they carry other strong side. So with that, with the DCC clip, if I end up putting it there, it works really well. It'll clip down, retain over those two layers. Whereas if I had the belt run the other direction, it actually won't really stretch enough over it to grab it, or at least for the retention I like. So now I have all my tools and they're separated to include my other Northman and yeah, gun and blade. And throw the shirt over, cover garment, whatever it may be. And yeah, all my tools. With that said, what has been my experience with this belt and holster from Vetter Holsters? Well, pretty much worn this setup for about a month straight, carrying either this pistol right here with an optic or just vanilla Gen 2 Glock 17, and it's done a good job for me. Definitely pretty comfortable. Again, it's not wide, like there aren't rivets going down the sides. And I also like the fact that I can have one holster for two different pistols, one like a stock, Glock 17 Gen 2, or this one with suppressorite sights, as well as an optic. And yeah, it's done good. That adjustable retention, plenty of retention there, and enough to where, yeah, it works and hasn't came out. I've actually skied quite a bit with it, definitely crashed some, haven't like cartwheeled down the mountain because usually try not to cartwheel down the mountain and like celebrate it but even crashing definitely confident hasn't came out anything like that don't expect it to either and overall it's done a good job for me i will say this belt it's one of those where depending on your belt loops yeah you feed it through which not a big deal but definitely bulkier than just like a random tail of a belt that'll slide through pretty much anything but I haven't had any issues with any different pants, whether it's these from Beyond or ones from Prometheus Design Works, number of different cuts and things like that. And I will say it is a pretty substantial belt. There's like two layers of pretty heavy duty webbing, which is good because it'll pretty much hold any pistol you put on it without flexing or like sagging. But it's also heavy duty webbing so it's great if you have like a big full-size gun light optic all of these different things in like 21 round magazine 147 grain whatever it'll support it for sure if you just have a really lightweight pistol arguably overkill but for me it's done good you can absolutely use this belt because of how strong and rigid it is out on the range, like if you want to hang like rifle mags and other stuff like that on one side of it, run your pistol on the other, it will most certainly do all of those things. traveled with this as well basically flown gone through TSA all that stuff it will ping on a metal detector so you're gonna pull this thing off throw it on the conveyor belt not a big deal I do have other belts which basically non magnetic so you can wear them through which is kind of handy especially if you need your belt on to actually hold your pants up but yeah does a good job I will say again really depends on what kind of gun you're carrying it is a heavy duty like pretty rigid belt so probably not my favorite belt if I was going to go on like an eight hour road trip driving but really depends on what kind of gun you're carrying too like I can get away with probably a lighter belt just because pretty vanilla stock Glock 17 if you start stacking stuff on there yeah this thing will hold it which is good if you're looking for a holster and a belt I would encourage you to check them out they make them for pretty much 
all of your standard fare of guns. You can also get them compatible with lights, again, depending on what you're carrying, which is handy. And pretty quick ship times as well. Price-wise for your holster, looking at about 70 bucks and belt, I wanna say about 63 bucks. Overall, pretty solid though with respect to holster and belt setup. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. Really appreciate it. It helps me go out and create more content for you. And over at Patreon, you usually get early access to videos, some exclusive stuff, and access to Discord. We have an active Discord server over there. A lot of great people, a lot of great information. And if you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.